Bitcoin holders, make sure you guys prepare because we can either see a dump or pump. But with that said, today we're going to be doing a technical analysis on Bitcoin as well as talking about some breaking news in regards to FTX. And also we're going to be talking about Polkadot. There is some major news surrounding Polkadot, very concerning, so make sure to stick around for the whole video. With that said, let's start with Bitcoin. Okay guys, so right now Bitcoin is sitting around $16,550. So if we take a look right here, Bitcoin has slowly made its way back down before pumping, but as you guys can see, it got it was liquidating long positions around the 16,200 level before making a major pump today to 17,100. It did you know, it did dump around 15,800. It didn't make a lower for this year. So, that is a good thing. But Bitcoin is still not out of the, you know, of trouble so if we put the Fibonacci retracement guys you can see right now we are going to be testing the 16,200 based off that price level you guys need to make sure to pay attention because we can see Bitcoin crash or pump based off what Bitcoin does if Bitcoin successfully bounces off here to the upside. We can definitely see Bitcoin head all the way up possibly to 17,400. That is what we want for Bitcoin long term. So let's just say it doesn't. Well, guys, we're going to be testing the around the 15,600 once again and maybe even seeing lower lows, guys. <clears throat> yes. So we need to pay attention, Bitcoin holders, for what is next. But what is highly likely to ha you know, to happen, the probability of Bitcoin going up is higher than going down. Just because we've been so low, it looks like we created some sort of double bottom. But we have to see how it plays out. But based off, you know, chart patterns and you know, Fibonacci, I do believe we're going to be testing and we're going to bounce successfully off the 16,200. It already looks like we are right here, guys, recovering very well. And what we want is to push to 17,600 around here, you know, shoot up and then test again around the 17,000 before pumping to higher, you know, to 18,000. So, that is, is what we want for Bitcoin, but as of right now, we just have to wait and see what happens next. So now moving on to the overall crypto market today, it's just like, it's not looking very good, guys. It's like half of them are in red, half of them are in green. It's not looking that well. But moving on to some FTX, you know, breaking news. Some guy on Twitter tweeted this out. This makes a lot more sense on what this Ponzi scheme, how it worked. So you guys can see Sam Bakeman Fried, who is the CEO, is an MIT graduate. He's connected with Gary Gensler because they both went to the MIT. You know, they had a lot of meetings. You know, it was breaking news that, you know, Gary was meeting a lot with Sam Bankman Fried. For whatever reason, we don't really know, but that is a cause for concern. So, if you look at Gary Gensler, he is connected with Glenn Elson, who is a professor at Economics MIT and who was the former boss of Gary Gensler. This gets very interesting because the girl right here, Caroline, who is the CEO of Alama Alameda, dated Bakeman Fried, and he she is the daughter of Glenn, which is very interesting. And as you guys know, <clears throat> they're all linked together. 
and they all went to MIT, which is very interesting. It looks like all these guys were in cahoots, but we don't officially know if they were. But based off the evidence, it looks like a high probability that they were connected and linked together working on this Ponzi scheme. So yes, that's some, you know, news on that. Comment your thoughts down below what you guys think of that. But moving on, as you guys know, 1 billion and 2 billion dollars of FTX customer funds have disappeared. As you guys know, FTX was hacked recently before, you know, everything went crazy, guys. They were hacked during this time and then all of a sudden Sam Bankman fried just dipped and went to the Bahamas right now they're saying that he is trying to fly out to Dubai for whatever reason he is tr you know he's trying to escape all the mess he made now we have some more breaking news guys Amazon plans to lay off 10,000 employees starting this week as you guys know, just last week, Meta just laid off 11,000 employees. As you guys see, they plan to lay off corporate and technology roles in the company. This is showing us that we are in a recession, guys. So, I mean, this is the time where we're going to see the crypto market tank on top of the news with the FTX situation. This is why I do believe in the near future we're going to see lower, possibly below, you know, 13,000. It is possible to go to 10,000, but that would be devastating for Bitcoin, guys. Very de devastating. And as you guys know, you, I went on Sam Bankman Fry's, you know, Twitter, and he just posted 15 hours ago this. Whatever this means, I don't know, guys. But he has a lot of explaining to do of what's going on because he said he was sorry. He made this whole tweets, like 20 tweets about him being sorry and being transparent. As you guys can see, he just tweeted this out an hour ago, which I don't know what this means. He probably got hacked. I don't know, guys. But moving on, as you guys know, the crypto exchange called crypto.com has been on the hot seat as you guys know there was a lot of people withdrawing from the platform just because of what's going on it was revealed that crypto mistakenly sent 400 million worth of ether to gate io another crypto exchange in october and then they were you know questioning the ceo Saying that, are you doing what FTX was doing? And he just responded saying that he's not. He's reassuring. Guys, comment what you guys think. If Crypto.com goes down, that would also be devastating for crypto in general. Guys, we do not want to, you know, be happy when crypto exchanges go insolvent bankrupt because that sets back the crypto space many years moving on to the big news the crypto news that you guys have been waiting for this whole time polka dot as you guys know polka dot is this crypto and they just recently tweeted out guys well first off Web3, you know, they tweeted out reassuring that they were no longer a security. They were a software. But what gets very interesting is they openly admitted to selling their tokens as securities. Were they scared that the SEC was going to go after them because they're saying that they shouldn't go after them because they're a software now? This is very interesting to see what will the SEC do because they just admitted to selling secure, you know, selling their tokens as securities without being a security. Um, they just committed a crime and will the SEC go after them? 
I think if they do not go after, you know, Polka Dot, the SEC, I think they might be centralized and working with them. Because why, you know, that's that would be the easiest thing to do. Take down Polka Dot, win the case very easily. And, you know, it would be devastating for XRP, for Ripple. Because as you guys know, LBRY went down for doing the same thing. The SEC is accusing XRP and Ripple of doing that, which Polka Dot admitted. So wouldn't it be easy... You know, easy win for the SEC because they just admitted to selling their tokens as security without being a security. Now they're saying they're a software. This is very interesting, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this because, you know, your thoughts are important. But with that said, that is it for Bitcoin for crypto news today. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed and want to stay updated with every crypto news and bitcoin news with that said peace